getting some SCOTUS decisions today out of D.C. Let's get Damon Jabbers on that. Hey, Eamon. That's right. We've got an interesting and unusual ruling here from the Supreme Court in a case involving Facebook and, of course, Meta. Uh, the ruling here is that a case involving Facebook is now dismissed as improvidently granted. And what that means is the Supreme Court is saying, you know, in retrospect, we never should have taken this case in the first place. That means that a lower court ruling uh, will stand from the Ninth, court here, Ninth Circuit here in this case. Uh, and that would seem to be uh, bad news for Facebook. How bad? That's uh, some nuance and, and up for interpretation. We're waiting for Facebook to comment. They don't have a comment uh, ready just yet. But this case was all about the Cambridge Analytica scandal back in the last decade, Carl. And the question here was whether or not Facebook was fair to investors in its disclosures in SEC filings about risk factors that it faced. If it knew that there was a certain risk that had already occurred uh, and only disclosed that risk as a possible hypothetical when speaking to in investors, but knowing that it was an actual real situation that had already happened, was that fair to investors? In that case, they're facing shareholder lawsuits around that. It went all the way up to the Supreme Court and now back down again, the Supreme Court taking a pass here on making a decision. So uh, Facebook called the Ninth Circuit ruling extreme at the time that the ruling happened, saying that it opens up companies to sort of uh, rearview mirror lawsuits, saying that they should have disclosed X and Y risks, uh, which they should have known about in the past. We'll see what Facebook has to say about this decision from the Supreme Court here. Uh, but, Carl, the Supreme Court taking a pass now on a Facebook case at the highest court. Back over to you. Uh, interesting. What a week it's been for social. You got this part. There's this bill in Australia, Eamon, uh, that would, if passed, ban social media for kids under 16. You had Adam Mosseri of uh, Meta yesterday talk about threads trying to respond to Blue Sky, uh, emphasizing yep. less on the algorithm and more on the actual people you follow. But on this one, I do wonder what you think some of the broader implications may be. Well, I mean, if you're an other company looking at this uh, and you're filing reports with the SEC, the question is how much do you have to change uh, what your filings say about known risk factors uh, as you go forward? And do you have to disclose things that uh, you might not have disclosed in the past? I think a lot of lawyers are going to burn a lot of billable hours right now looking at this ruling from the Ninth Circuit, trying to decide what it means for them in terms of anything they know about a negative factor that has impacted their company and whether they have to disclose that or not. I think there's going to be a lot of wiggle room here and a lot of room for interpretation. Uh, but, you know, spinning forward, Carl, you look at this incoming Trump administration and what its policies will be toward big tech. And you can imagine a world where things get very different for big tech in Washington in, in months and years to come.